All right, in this video, we're going to be working with a differential equation. 9x squared y double prime plus 9x y prime plus in parentheses 9x squared minus 1 fourth times y equals 0. Now, it's very easy to just get started and start some kind of method and keep get, get working on this. But if we can recognize that it kind of resembles a very specific form, and that form is right here, then it'll make our life a lot easier. Because this is a very specific form, and it was worked out by this guy right here, Bessel. Therefore, this is a Bessel function. Now, to be more precise, our equation is not really a Bessel function yet. It just resembles it. So we need to tweak it a bit to make sure it turns into the exact shape that we need for a Bessel formula. Now, for that, we're going to divide the equation by 9, and that's going to allow us to get to this form. Now, we are in a position where we can directly compare it to the formula and we can see that it matches very well. Here we can see that our v squared is the same thing as a 1 over 36. From this our v is plus minus 1 sixth. This is the order of our equation. Sometimes it's even called the index of our uh, the equation. Now if we notice, uh, we need to notice, better said, uh, that this is one of two uh, possibilities, non-integer or integer order. Here we are working with a non-integer, since v is 1 over 6. Therefore, Bessel worked it out that our general solution can be written up in this form right here. c1 and c2 are just simple constants, and the two j functions, one with one sixth and one with negative one sixth, these are Bessel functions of the first kind. Since our order is one sixth, is a non integer, the two Bessel functions are linearly independent. And uh, a lot of math classes will would we would just leave the solution at this c1 j 1 sixth plus c2 j negative 1 sixth. But in this video, let's, con let's continue and see where it can lead us. Now, what are these two Bessel functions of the first kind? We have a formula for them. It's right here. j v equals and all this x v in a big summation. Now, there's also strange looking thing right here. This is a gamma function. Okay. Now to continue, we're going to take this and plug it into our general solution. C1, C2 stay unchanged. And for our two J functions, we plug this big formula in. For the first one, instead of V, we plugged in one sixth. And for the second one, instead of V, we plugged in negative one sixth clean up some of our constants and we can rewrite it. All I did is combine these two and these two. Okay. Move it up so we can have some more room. Now for the next step, we need to expand our two sums. In both cases, we have m going from zero to infinite. Now clearly we won't be able to write out every single term of this sum but we're going to write out the first three. So from the first sum, we're going to get, when we plug in m equals 0, right here, we're going to get this when we plug in m equals 1, we're going to get this when we plug in m equals 2, and so on, dot, dot, dot. Here's what we get for our second sum, from here to these. OK, now, to continue, we arrive to a position where we need to deal with these guys, our gamma functions. There's two ways to deal with these. If you're brave, go for it. Take these uh, formulas and these properties, and you can calculate them out one by one. But in this video, we're going to chicken out, and we're just going to go to these right here. 
tables, we're going to take each of our gamma functions and look up their corresponding value from those tables. As you can see, gamma function of 7 sixth looked up the, its value in the for in, in that table and we can plug it in right here 0 0.9277 there's a few more decimal places there but this is good enough for us that's what we did for every single term and at this point we can see that all of these all of these these are just numbers so let's clean it up so we can have a better cleaner answer and write it up in the parentheses, we're going to have a nice polynomial. And this will be our final answer for this problem. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up so other people can find it as well. And have a great day.